Hello, this is Mr. Collier, and today we're going to make an eight pointed star tessellation using Geometer Sketchpad. Okay, so we're going to start everything off like we do often do with a circle. Okay, so I'm going to start with a circle and I'm going to make a or construct a square inside the circle, and then we're going to make an eight pointed star, uh, color it, and then tessellate it. Okay, so I'm starting with a circle. And it's already got a point on the outside of the circle. What I'm going to do is, that point is selected, I'm going to select the other point, and then you can go to Construct Line. Okay, we can go to Construct Line, and there's a line through the circle. And if I click on this point now, I have the line highlighted and the point, I believe I can go and construct a perpendicular line. So we've got a perpendicular line there, and now we have four points on the outside of the circle where we can make a square. I'm going to get those four points now of intersection. So you'll see that both of the well, the circle and the line will turn red when it's at the point of intersection. So we need to do that at each point. I've got the four points of intersection. And I'm going to click on all four of those points. Then you can go to Construct Segments or Command L. And there we go, we have a square. Now we don't need these lines or the circle, so I'm going to click on the lines in the circle. Then you can go to, to hide them, you can go to hide path objects. Okay. Or you can just do Command H to hide all those things. Okay, so we've got a square. We can make an eight pointed star using that. Now we can actually, at first, I want to double click on the center of the square because we're going to rotate the square about that point and then select the square and then you can go to rotate and 45 degrees is the angle we need to get the eight pointed star okay so there we go but uh, we want this to be instead of two squares we want it to be the object to be the eight pointed star for coloring reasons so we're gonna get these points of intersection first and then we're gonna make that into a polygon so make sure both line segments are red before you click on the dots so that you can get the point of intersection. Okay, and one more. So I've got all those points. Now I can hide my segments here by doing Command H. And I just want the points that are left behind. Okay, so hide those. Okay, I want to keep that point in the center of the star because we might, we might need it later. So I'm going to click on all the points of the star now in order. Remember they have to be in order or it's not going to work. You have to be very careful not to miss one or then you have to start all over again. So I'm going to click them all very carefully in order and then we're going to have the eight pointed star. And I think I had to click on the beginning one. No, okay. So now I construct polygon interior. Okay, and there we have that. Actually, let me undo for a second. First, I'm going to construct segments, and then I'm going to construct polygon interior. Actually, I have to go and click on all those points again in order to get the color. So let me try that again. So you miss one dot and then you have to do it all over again. So I'm clicking all the dots in order. Okay, click them all. I can do the polygon interior now or just command P. And there we have a color. We can change that color up in display. You can even get a color wheel and get the color that way so I can uh, get pink or blue or whatever I'm going to choose light blue or maybe this color blue okay so now I've got one star of my tessellation if I want another one I want to make a copy over here and start tessellating then I can click on this point and then a point directly opposite 
and then we can go to mark vector and then I'm going to select the whole thing and I go to translate and I'll make another copy right over there okay and now I can make copy both of these down here by clicking on this point and then this point down here in that order mark vector so that means it's going to move down this way exactly the distance from tip to tip of the star and I need to select it all first and then translate okay okay so now we've got uh, this tessellation we've got this cross thing in the middle we can make that a polygon and color it as well we can just click on the points in order okay oops I missed so it's a bit tedious, you gotta be very careful or you gotta have to start all over again. And I think I got them all. I can do Command P, make polygon interior, and I'll make that a different color, I suppose. Um, I'll make it pink, I suppose. Uh, I like red better. Let me get red. Alright, that looks nicer, I suppose. Okay, now. I'm going to make some more copies of this, but before I do, I might want to get rid of some of these points here before I make a, a billion copies of the, these. I'm going to get rid of some of these points. I'm going to Command H. Never delete, because then it will mess up your figure. When you want to get rid of things, you're going to hide them. Oops, so I'm going to hide some of these points. Uh, I don't think I need these center points anymore, so I'm going to hide those. Oops. And hide these. So you can hide as much as you want, but you might need the points on the ends of your stars in order to tessellate. Anyway, I'm going to make another copy of this over here. I'm going to click on this point and this point all the way on the other side. And then I'm going to go to Mark Vector. I do Command A to select everything. And then I'm going to Translate. So I made a copy over there. And I'm missing this uh, color in the middle, so I can also do, I can shift that over here by doing, clicking on this point and then this point. And then Mark Vector. And I'm going to select the color and then I'm going to translate and it's over there now. Okay, so I'm going to now I'm going to make another copy down on the bottom so I can mark vector. So I go from this point to this point down here. I can mark vector and then I can do command A to select everything and then translate. And there's another copy down there. Again, I need my red crosses in the middle, so I can click on the top of the red cross to the bottom of the red cross. I mark vector, then I'm going to select these three red crosses and translate. Okay, there you go. And you can make it as big as you want. You can hide all the points just by clicking on them and click with the Command H, and that's your design. Thanks for watching.